stick out from month to month and to be able to play in a real jersey versus somebody else, man, we're so sick of playing against each other. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I thought it was good, but, um, you know, I think for me it's just uh, I just want to keep building. I know there's other uh, things I want to keep working on, and so I'll look at that. And I think the important thing is for me not to, like, get carried away. Like, it's preseason. Last year, um, I had a great preseason, and, and uh, it, it counted for nothing, you know. And then when, when we started playing, I struggled uh, coming out the gate. For the season, so um, I'm not going to get caught up in anything preseason right now, um, other than just I felt like I played confident tonight, and that's how I can carry over. You probably can't take a whole lot, as you point out, from numbers and such in the preseason, but you probably could take something from your release and how it felt. I mean, these, we've talked a lot about that. I mean, how did that feel? It looked yeah, like it felt great. Um, yeah. It felt great, and, uh, you know, I was kind of in, I got in the zone, and honestly, if I wasn't so caught up in trying to hit some more, I think my last two would have dropped if I was just not thinking about it um, and just shooting it the same way that I shot the previous what do you want to get out of the preseason? Um, my biggest thing right now is I want to learn my teammates who I'm playing with, see, you know, know how to get them going, know how to like I have, like my job is to bring the best out of my teammates. So you know, you know, I shot the ball well tonight, great, but like I still need to learn like how do I establish Brooke when he needs to get going? How do I establish Ronnie and Randy and Trevor? And, and the guys coming off the bench, you know, like, like I know that I'm not going to do this every night. I'm not going to get eight wide open threes every single night. So how am I going to make this team go? And how am I going to lead us defensively? That's really what I want to learn and, and get to. Coach Kenny said that the, on. the threes just kind of came out of the natural, what, what the defense was giving you tonight. Uh, was it tough to get much pick and roll action going? Is that one of the things you want to work on? Um, yeah, I mean, we didn't, I, I, don't, I can't even, I can, I can probably count how many pick and rolls I was in on, on my, you know, on one hand maybe, and that's really my strength. Um, <laughs> and so, I guess tonight we didn't really necessarily need it per se, um, but there will be times where we're going to have to be more heavy pick and roll, I understand that, and, and each game has its own personality. Um, but tonight, we were getting good shots and it was flowing, and and uh, the guys were finding me, um, and, and uh, that's just, you know, that's unselfish basketball, and I was, I was the recipient of that tonight. Kenny, going back to what you said before, Kenny had talked about, before the game, had talked about uh, kind of getting you into, quote, point guard mode or something. I mean, obviously, in Charlotte, a lot of it was off the ball. Some of it was, a lot of it was coming off the bench, but this situation, he was talking about getting you in the mode of finding everybody and thinking, pass first. Is that, uh, has that been an ongoing thing, I guess, in preseason and as you learn your teammates? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's an evolving thing, too, because my mindset has to continue to change, too, um, where you know, I'm, I'm just trying to play. Um, and, and I know I'm going to be out there for longer than I was last year. Um, so there's a different mindset. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess... I don't even know if I had any assists tonight, but uh, I felt like I was making the right play. Like I felt like I was moving the ball, and and when I drew two, I kicked it. And um, you know, sometimes you get high numbers, and sometimes you don't. But that's more where I just don't care that much about the numbers. I I just want to know like when did I not make the right play? Um, and so you know, I talk with my film guy, and my trainer from back home, and I have a guy. Who, I, you know, I have a team of people, and the number one target for me is make the right play every time. Um, that's like really like our number one focus by far right now. And so I'm going to take a look and go back and go through the film and say, okay, when did I miss guys? You know, um, or when was I one dribble too late? I should have hit him earlier. Is there a point now where you just, you know, less thing we take it away, the team stops, certain that you have more you can go to than you maybe had before? Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely more. Uh, well-rounded as a, of a player. I mean, you, like tonight, like I said, um, I didn't really do anything in the pick and roll, to be honest. Um, I didn't really do much of anything in the pick and roll. And I know now, if guys are forcing me left, I can go left. If guys want me to shoot, um, I'm not saying I'll make it every night, but I'll gladly shoot them. Um, I'll gladly shoot open ones if they give them to me. Um, and I don't think that I'm, I don't think I'm a liability on defense at all. I think I, I, uh, I think I help the team. I think I'm actually. 
um, I'm able to impact and make the team better defensively, and these are all areas that I've taken a lot of time to try to be better at. So I do think, yeah, being more well-rounded gives me more different ways to kind of impact the game. But Kenny, Kenny wasn't really too happy with the defense in the first half. What do you think you guys could have done better there to cut down their shooting? I just got to uh, start with me. I got to get in the ball more, which we started doing in the second half and a little bit in the second quarter as well. And then um, and we just got to be more active. They were too comfortable, too easy. Coming out the gate, they were just tossing up open shots. And look, they hit a lot of they hit a lot of contested twos as right. well. Um, but we were just making it too easy. We were playing close. We were in closeout situations all night. And, and uh, that's really what, you know, that's the one thing I would like you said, like, what is the one thing that you really can do much better at this game? Um, it's, I got to get the ball, I got to make an impact, I got to play better defense in terms of just being disruptive early. Um, I thought we did that later. The unity you guys showed before the anthem, kind of what was the purpose behind that? A lot of teams are obviously doing as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that's, uh, you know, I spent a lot of hours thinking and talking with different people, but to me, the biggest thing is it shows that I think we all can acknowledge that there is an, an issue that is at hand, but how you go about that is really what we try to do: is arms around each other, solidarity, and doing it together. This isn't this isn't anti-cops. Like this country needs cops. This isn't anti-minorities. This country needs minorities. This is, this is what makes our nation great. We need both. We need compassion. We need more empathy, or maybe not empathy, but we need more sympathy, um, where guys can. Just, take the time to really put themselves in somebody else's shoes. So if I'm, you know, a minority, I would, you know, I have to think about what it's like to be the, the wife of a cop who is, she's scared that her husband has to go to work. And if I'm, you know, I'm, you know, the other side, I have to be able to think about what it's like to be a family member of, of, of uh, you know, an African-American male who might get, you know, like these are the things that we're not taking, like, and I think, like right now, what we're seeing is not—it's not everything, but there's there has been some division and increased hostility, and that to me is almost two steps forward, one step back. Um, so again, it's about solidarity, um, and it's not lip service too. Um, like we want to, like we as a team, I as a person, we as an organization, like we want to be able to do things in the community going forward to be able to promote the same message. Um, like, if I were to just sit there before the anthem and do that, I mean, anybody can do that. It would be fake and superficial. But we want to actually do something more and, and, and be more proactive about, and which we were talking about internally. Hello. Guys, last one. How did that decision come about from you guys? Did you all want to talk about it amongst yourselves? Yeah, we talked about it today after shoot around, but it's something that, um, you know, a couple of the guys myself were pretty passionate about so we had talked about it before we brought it to the team and um, we just felt like that was the right thing to do at this time and we all care a lot about this nation. Alright guys thanks. Thank you. Thank you.